This video takes you on a behind the scenes look at setting up some LED lighting by Lupo for a modern boudoir shoot. I'm going to be using two of their Fresnel heads and one of their LED panels. Starting with the Lupo Super Panel, that's going to be my main light today. Now the Lupo Super Panel is a dual colour, so it can be dialed in anywhere from 3200 degrees Kelvin up to 5600 degrees Kelvin. And it has a dimmer control which allows a brightness level from 100% right down to zero. Now the Lupo Super Panel dual colour is one seriously bright LED panel. Measuring the output at 100% from a distance of 1 meter, I got an exposure of 1 60th of a second at f8 at 100 ISO at both the 3200 and 5600 degree settings. Using it with the snap bag softbox like I am today, that exposure drops by almost 3 stops measured from the front diffusion panel. For my background light, I'm using the Lupo Daylight 2000 Fresnel and I'm attaching a scatter gel to the barn doors so I can get a very mottled highlight and shadow effect on the background which I can then fine tune with the barn doors and the flood spot control on the back of the day led. Now I don't want the background to be too bright so I'm going to start at around 20% brightness and see how it goes. For the third light, which will be the hair light, I'm using the day led 650 which is the baby brother of the day led 2000. I'm going to use the included barn doors to control the spill of light and keep it off the background, but also concentrate it onto the model's hair. So now we have our lights in position and our lovely model Sylph is on set. As you can see I've also added a white reflector board to the opposite side of the main light just to add a little bit of fill to the shadow side of Sylph. Now it's time for the first test shot and to check the position of the lights and their brightness. I'm pretty happy with the main light, but the hair light is actually spilling onto Sylph's right leg, so the barn doors just need a little bit of adjusting, and the background light is a little bright, and the pattern could be shifted a touch as well. Now that those little tweaks have been made and I'm happy with all of the lighting, it's time for Sylph to run through some poses and try some different positions and angles and see what we can come up with. try something a little bit different I've decided to swap the positions of the background light and the hair light and to change the color temperature of the super panel to 3200 degrees Kelvin. If I then match the white balance on my camera to the super panel at 3200 the daylight balanced day led Fresnels in the background will effectively turn blue. This will give us a really nice color contrast with the warmer light on Sylph popping out against the cooler tones in the background giving the scene more depth.
This was actually one of my very first shoots with the Lupo LED lights and since then I've become a little bit obsessed with them. I do really love the versatility of the combination of the super panel with the focusable Fresnels for the style of work that I do. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and please do subscribe if you'd like to see some more.